classic matchup on sheet four. But our feature matchup, uh, Jim and Jalen Cotter, father-daughter duo, taking on formidable foes in Jen Dodds and Bruce Mao at the 2021 World Mixed Doubles, excuse me, 2020 World Mixed Doubles champions. And uh, couldn't really ask for two better matchups here tonight. Truly, we're, we're spoiled out here with all the matchups that, that we've seen. And, uh, Jalen and Jim, we saw them earlier on the broadcast. Really strong start. They just had one end that really took them down, but otherwise it, it was a really close game. And, uh, of course, uh, Jennifer and Bruce, had, uh, they had a strong start here, two wins, and uh, dropped two losses, but those losses were very, very close. So there, uh, you can bet they'll they'll be hungry out here. And they uh, they lost earlier to Brad Jacobs and Kira Brunton in a, in a closely battled, closely contested battle. A fantastic shot by Kira to uh, to seal the win there, and it, it so it was uh, really nice and close. And we can see here, Jalen and Jim have put it on the button, so they will have hammer here in our first end of play. Back line. Okay. Line's, line's okay. Back button would be fine line if that's good. where it's going. Still back line. Okay. Back line. Still good for, for good Needs to curl quite a bit to get to that back red. So, See you not a bad result, but. Talk about that little uh, sure. that bounce off is three, never like, never what you'd like to see from the first stone of the end. Yeah, it's it's huge to get that first rock in a good position, either frozen or just a, a few inches above. So now you can see Jalen has the opportunity to come in and, and sink one around oh. top four. Felt a little less than my and they're draw. they're taking the out turn, uh, so that Mine's they're good. exposed at all. Mine's it leaves an, an really angle good. onto the back yellow. Got a little bit of room. And also leaves the yellow. Mine's open better. as well, so double benefit. Still hanging. To your point, though, they love to get this right Mine's into the top four yet. foot for shot yep, stone. Yep, yep. Great start there from Jalen. Perfect. It's good. A beauty, nice, completely guarded. Pretty much only a little piece there, just as they wanted. Again, these eight end games, each team has 24 minutes to play them. And we saw that come into play in our afternoon game where time was a factor in, in the final end. Yeah, both teams actually got really tight in the last end and a half. A few rushed decisions may have uh, <laughs> certainly caused some stress, whether or not it causes misses or not, it's hard to say, but. <laughs> That is not what uh, Bruce was hoping for. Bounces off and into the open again. Uh, let's keep it up a little. So, like regular. Okay. Uh, opportunity now for Jim yeah. to do a little damage here. Yep, could sit three in just a moment. for the double. Yes! Yes! Bars! Needs Bars! to save the shooter as well. And rolls away, so that's uh, that'll be a miss. Jim won't be happy with that. I heard Jalen say, nice throw. Yep. It's a nice little positive thing she'll say to her dad. Yep. Uh, so perhaps seeing a little more ice in that spot. Now it's turn now. He's going to attempt to come around the center guard and tap that red stone straight back. Bruce is really, he and his men seem really taking the men's game by storm the last couple of seasons. It's good. Line's good. Really fast rise Clean. up the rankings. Well, it's good. Clean. They're yep. the favorites in just about every event they play in well. now. Well. 
along with uh, some of our top uh, Canadian teams, Gushu and Bedin, once he gets healthy again, and, and Bruce seem to have uh, found a level that many of the other teams haven't quite yet. And they keep pushing each other too. You see that, especially on the, the men's side. So you almost have to play a perfect game now to, yeah. to, to really win the very, very big games against the top four or five teams in the world. Just so. hearing someone talk about, oh, they are having a, a rough game and shooting about 88%. <laughs> Does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> Jim needs a freeze here. Jim Cotter needs to get into the four-foot area, into the button area. Got a couple of misses early from Mountain Dots, but unable to stay with the shooter on the last one has turned the tide a little bit in this end. Trying to get by the top four-foot rock is the challenge. Just a little rub. Same way. Okay. Yep. Now there's some real trouble if the same tap can be made. Tap that yellow back to the right and roll the shooter to the center line. And we just saw him make a, a really nice tap on his last there. Yeah. So like you said, tap and roll to the center and the Cotters will be in a bit of trouble. Center line Whoa, side now. This has got to be good. Hard on that. Pretty well perfect. Must be frustrating playing against Bruce. Yeah, <laughs> Way too many because main he shots. Miss too many. <laughs> There's, uh, they said no, they got a couple of misses like early that. in this yeah. end and like regular followed by a back, couple of perfect ones. And it opens it up on your neck. So much yeah, trouble now. Yeah. Well, and it's tough in mixed doubles when you are playing a team that's making all the shots. Even when you miss one shot, it really shows up hard. And you, you've seen it here this end. Yeah, Jim Cotter's going to uh, play the double on the top two yellows. Get rid of those top two. The one that he's going to hit first is going to kill that back red as well. So he's just hoping to open up both paths to the button for Jalen on her last. So Jim, also just a great shooter. Brian played in the Briar final, Olympic trials finals. Tons of Briars. So he's uh, used to making a lot of big shots. Opens it up a bit, right? Exactly, yeah. And just a great overall teammate too. See the way he's he's spoken to his other teammates, his daughter, they have really great chemistry on the ice. Same way you threw. Yeah. Already talking about the outturn draw that Jalen played on her first. Yeah. Talking about it being quick on that side, also worth mentioning it's quicker going away from the glass as well. Something for the last rock thrower to factor in. Jen Dodds with her final stone here in the first end. Would love to get this top button. Make uh, Jalen Cotter's job very difficult. Not light again. Trying to keep this in front of the tee. That'll slide back behind the tee line. So, very makeable shot here now for the Cotters. Somewhere near draw weight. Somewhere near the center line should be good. Right, same as draw. Where right. are you thinking uh, weight or uh, line? I mean. Okay. Same line, hey, like edge eight. Oh yeah, sorry. Edge eight. Yeah, edge eight, even a little outside. Okay, just smooth throw. Yeah. You got it. Good positive words in the hack. Final stone here in end number one. 
Jalen Cotter needs full four. She's got a little bit of backing. Get to the inside of it. Okay. It's not bad. Line's pretty good. It's got to curl a bit. Line's in the ballpark here, so it's up to better. Dad now to sweep this into the forefoot. Should be good. Just clean. Just clean. I'm sure it's there. Looks pretty Line's good. good. So a couple of nice shots to end the first end. We'll get the Cotters on the board as Jalen covers the button. But it'll be Dodds and Mowat with the hammer when we come back for end number two. You can order my signature beer, Epic Ale, online all across Canada at 99bottleshop.com. There, you can browse the wide selection of Radical Road beers, H2 Spirits, and their boutique selection of wines, food, and much more. Cheers. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. EDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Second end about to get underway here on a Saturday night in Brantford. Where else oh, would you rather be but watching yeah. curling with Danielle and I. Mixed double C qualifiers here at the Epic Ale Players Championship. I mean, with the level of play we've seen out here, there's no other place I'd rather be, except maybe on the ice. But for this event, we've been I need to go a little bit. We've been lucky enough to see uh, really good, this is our third great game of Line's the day. Fine. We've got Just three more wait. coming up tomorrow. Mine's really good. Mine's perfect. Wait's really number good. 35 Kate, ranked Wait's good. Cotter team. Mine's good. Like to go a little Kate, yeah, against then. the number five Dodds and Mowat okay, team. Mom, and they've, uh, this team has won the, the BC Mixed Doubles Championship before, so they're used to winning some big games yeah, and they said they've, they've made the playoffs at a couple of the other yep. series events so yeah even the uh, the runner up in uh, Vernon they had taken some time off from playing uh, together but they're now back on the ice First time with the hammer now for Mountain Dodds and Chen looking for top button. Still needs to curl. Way only. Still way only. Nice. Okay. Like, like back, back eight. Back eight? Yeah. Gonna tap that yellow to the in behind the T line somewhere. Be a hair less. Very similar shot to hair what uh, Bruce now it through in the previous end. With his two. Tap back the yellow, roll the shooter a little towards the center line would be the call. Good. Back line. Okay. Close. Seen this spot Please. move Might be yeah. in previous games? Yes. 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 Hard. 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 Can't bump the yellow out of play. That was Jim's concern. It was only the yeah, fifth so. rock of the end, so Just he was afraid he might tap that goes. yellow all the way out. That run. Yay. Half in the forfeit. Oh, yeah. well, it's Philly Four is perfect. So, I don't know if purposely let it <laughs> wreck on the guard is the right way to put it, but. Well, we'll go with that other than he was ignoring his daughter's line call. Yeah. <laughs> well. But as you said, he was thinking that he had enough weight to, to send the rock through. So it was better to do that rather than tap it out. Problem now is there's a path to the button. Okay. Wee bit room just now. Okay, wait's nice. Line's good. And Bruce can get this one there. Stay close. Right Line top four foot. It's uh, going to be a little bit Line of a challenge good. for the Cotters. There's, they have options. Come off the wide one, tap the one on the right. Curling, curling hard now. Yep. Yep, hard. Hard, Bruce. 
Right to it. Keep going. Go, go, go. Trying to get past the red. Sorry. Doesn't yeah. quite get there. Pulls the same way. Yes. Hair less. Is that yeah, clear? Yeah, hair less. Okay. Just freeze, tap it a little. Same ice. Jim just or needs like to listen to Jalen this time. <laughs> Give me a uh, hair more. You would be wise to do that and <laughs> take this extra ice. Yeah, I like that. Well, between uh, we've seen Jim's out turning, he, uh, he has a little bit more curl on it, too, and this spot. We, we saw it twice now. It does move. So it's, it's wise to give yourself a little extra broom in this spot. Good look at his release. He just kind of opens it up, and it's not a massive amount of rotation. A little more on this one than he had on his last. Okay. Weight's pretty good. Stay close. Clean. Yep. When you play against Jim, you know, the, ro the, bro the rock's yes. coming right at the broom. There's no Hard. question about that. Just for life. Hard. Gotta go. Hard. Just glances off that top yellow again. And it had pretty much the perfect weight on it as well. If they had gone by and gone that rolling behind, they would have been singing real well. But uh, feeling like it's Groundhog Day again. Bruce hey, Mount with uh, another opportunity to sink one in here, top four. Is that the same ice? No, that, I gave you there last time. Okay. Do I that? I think so. Okay. Conversely, Bruce's rocks run very straight compared to most of the rest of the planet. <laughs> Slides uh, very close to the center line and then a little bit of an in-out in, motion with a plenty of rotation. There's a good look at it there, and his t his rocks will run straight, straight, straight for the longest time, and then finish very nicely. It's running a wee bit more than your last. There it goes. Stay close. Oh, oh, oh. So line's good here. You're seeing that later break point, but it is still going sideways. There you go. He doesn't often miss two in a row. Jim's thinking in off that red, I think. Be precise, there's that. That's probably easier than getting by that one. Or this. It's pretty thin, but. What if you did do this? Because we would be sitting Just like here, right? Just tap it there. <clears throat> yeah. It's precise as, as well. We kind of have that after. So tap this. Let's play off this red. Save that one. Just looking at bumping okay. this in play here. That's one red. option. The other okay. option is they can come off this right one. On top of quite that. thin. Well, get rid of this top yellow and save their shooter like in front that? of the one that's on yeah. the button. So well, two red, options. Yeah. Okay. This is the more difficult so of the like two, eight. but might be the better of the Hair two because you can save that other one for your last. Exactly, and if he makes this, he sets up uh, Jalen a lot better for her last. He needs to be a little careful not to get this too thick. If he does, he could spin around and actually jiggle his top red out of the way as well. So this is this is better to hit this too thin than too thick. Well out there, just needs curl. curl. Needs to curl. Needs to curl, hard curl. Get off. Shit. Didn't touch anything. So. Uh, and an unfortunate Error. wick. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty hard to do, actually. Yeah, there wasn't much room between those stones. Watch this again as it comes through. Yeah, it just barely kisses that rock. Because if he had made almost any contact with that red one, it would have been going into the pile of yellows. Or hit more of the yellow. It would have chipped out of the forefoot at yeah. least. So. <laughs> Basically anything okay. but that. Right. <laughs> Maybe they come in off that, but I think it still leaves you a draw for three. Yeah. The only other thing is maybe they're getting it thin, but they're probably never staying. I think that's really thin. And they're never playing that either, actually. Really thin. They're going to come really in off the red, yet. or they're going to tap the red on the other side. Those are the two calls that that uh, Team Cotter will have. Yeah. She draws to it. Easiest one's this the one, one on the left yeah. is looking at it. 
Well, especially well, for so mixed doubles, lively. you spend so much Good. time coming to the middle that anytime you're going on an inside out trajectory, it's it's a little bit tougher because yeah. you don't see it much during the game. Even more? Yep. They're, they're going to guard the red on the right. They could actually just tap the yellow and, and cover a little bit of everything if they wanted, if they wanted to get real greedy, but Mine's they understand good. that a guard oh, here, you hear Bye. Bruce say to Jen, if, if we guard and they come it's off good. the outside Wait, red, Bye. we're probably Mine's still having a draw for three. So that's Bye. the logic. Halfway. Okay, well, play a die then. It's hanging out there nicely. Sit. So nice. just a question Sit. now nice of... <clears throat> Boom, what? and then you make this double and sit right here. Yeah. Not much else like there, really. Peel or less? You could chip the yellow uh, that's yeah, there smooth, on the yeah, side like of the button. Nine. That's the other option, just yeah. a direct okay. hit. Give them a draw for three. And she's asking about what kind of weight to throw. And you're definitely going to want to throw a bomb down here to, to get as many rocks going down as possible, but as much weight as she can throw accurately in this case. It's a hit about an inch or two of that red. No more. Thinner than it looks. rid of one of them so okay much better than I did <laughs> <laughs> there's that positive <laughs> attitude there you go. thanks dad uh, and you know what giving up a, a three in mixed doubles is similar to giving up a, a two and four player curling so not not the biggest deal in the world of course you never like to give up a multiple but yeah. uh, still not the end of the world with lots of men's left to play yeah could have been worse so draw for three now for Jen Dodds. Bruce will let us know pretty quickly where this is going to end up. See, Bruce is using a stopwatch to help him out a little bit with the early split time. This is taking off a bit, starting to curl. Hi, Bruce. Need to go to get by the top. Roll off, roll off. It does. Well managed, well swept, and that will be three. So Dodds and Mowat will jump out front. 3-1 here through two ends of play. Radical Rogue's Epic Ale is the perfect, easy-drinking beer to have after a curling game. Please ask your manager to carry it in your curling club today. Available only in Alberta and Ontario. Oh, that's nice. Who cares if the furnace is out? That's doing it right there. I'm going to have to lose a layer. Dad, I don't think this is working. Let me turn up the volume for you. Ooh, it's almost too hot, huh? There's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Service Experts Heating and Air Conditioning keep you warm and worry-free with the Advantage program for just one low monthly payment. Guys, come back. I'm doing s'mores. Third end of our feature matchup here on a Saturday night from the CBC Mixed Double Super Series okay. Epic yeah. Ale Player Championship. 3 1. The Scots are ahead of the Canadians in this case. Jennifer Dodds, 2022 Olympic gold medalist from in the women's discipline with Eve Muirhead and Bruce Mowat, her partner, the silver medalist winning men's skip and said past world champions as a, as a duo. So not much these two haven't seen in the curling world or accomplished. And uh, we've seen at these first two ends, they, they've Taking really been on top yeah, of the yeah, angles yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the shots really forcing uh, Jalen and Jim into some tough shots. Yep. Same old turn? Yeah. We can update uh, the other 
See qualifier, Myers and Walker scored one in the second end, so Jones and Lang are up one with the hammer. There's the scoreboard on the right of our screen. The old school scoreboard, for those of you uh, <laughs> wondering what those numbers are, the uh, two and the one, but. How's the line? Line's fine. Weight's pretty good. Most curlers, I think, know how that one works. Oh, that can Danielle. be one of the, the <laughs> some of these days you look at it, you have to look twice. I think it might be one of the toughest things to learn in curling when you first start. Though. How to use the scoreboard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, uh, really what's, what's the point? The middle we one figure if you can figure that out, you're good for the game, I think is how it goes. Pretty right? much. <laughs> Uh, honestly, curling's an easy game. Just hit the broom with the right weight. You're good to go. Right. Hang the score correctly. Well, it's funny you say that, but, you know, the simple, the simpler, simple shots sound simple. You know, uh, like to that point, Wayne Madaw always says, if you can draw the eight foot and hit and stay every time, you'd be a world-class curler. Sounds easy. No trouble. <laughs> Why, how, how is that difficult? <laughs> because we love to overcomplicate yeah, things, don't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but we even saw that in our, our earlier games here, too, that uh, you needed a simple hit and stay or uh, a draw, and you did get that, that changed the outcome of the game. Well, when when you miss those, yeah, you, d you tend to pay the price, especially in mixed doubles. Uh, good start here from yeah. both teams. Nice draw by Jalen. Nice draw by Jen Dodds. Yeah. Nice follow-up by Bruce Mowat. And we've got a mixed doubles end here, building up the center line. And Jim Cotter hoping to get... His red right to the top of the forefoot, frozen on the yellow, was just thrown. Good throw. Pretty close. It's top four. Yeah, it's top four. Top four. Okay. Yep. 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 Hard. Hard to stay on the outside. Yep. 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 Slow down. Okay. Whoa. 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 Very good. Good. Really nice. Cool. Uh, great angles. He Oops. really needed that because uh, Dodson Mowat had those angles on the reds, but uh, yeah, the Cotter's really sunk a nice that one line? in there. Yeah, I think so. Here's C. Bruce. He's yeah, going to play a make a play on the on his own yellow. You make that yellow red combination here. that's on the button. Try to lie the too. End, so. Key to this shot for for them is to not have the yellow spring back to the left and out into the open. So really, they just need to make contact on the, the outer the quarter like of this rock. Well. Lose their shooter, really, in this case. Here. Yep. Hit. Like, almost try and... Bruce recognizes Split that challenge center, as well. Like... I suspect you'll see Jim Cotter try to make a move on the red that he just threw, if this guard is played. Cotters have the hammer, and there's... Things are getting a little tight around the scoring area right now for their liking. <laughs> okay. Even though they are lying one. Leave it more room. The line, line's good. Clean. Clean. Line's good. good. Way old knife. Top eight. Right to top it? 12. Okay, line's good for top 12. We're split and center. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Good job. Cheers. That actually works better than the corner freeze. Jim might consider going down there and having a look. Still but tapping it? Yeah. They, they had it all lined up, the, the red, yellow yeah, at the less. top of the forefoot. But uh, don't really have that option that right now. Like you said, it's getting messy and there, there's not really much room here to get that second one in. Well, and the problem now is if they if they don't get shot stone, it's More a very way. very Airtight. tempting shot to lie two right, back for for Mallet and Dogs. Trying to get by the guard here. If this gets by, you're gonna hard, tap. Hard. Hard line. That took okay, off. And they may have saved themselves a little bit of uh, difficulty by feathering that guard over. Perfectly guards the yellow top button. So that might uh, save save them from a big end. Watch where the guard, the yellow guard goes. goes just gets ticked over. It's about an inch across the center line. And it actually overburied that yellow yeah. that's frozen to the rock on the button. So uh, it, it's a, a good miss. A, a really nice break for them, actually. There's a good, great look at it. Yeah. The next play for <laughs> Mountain Dodds was to hit that yeah. wide yellow. So going to be tricky to score more than the one here for... 
red for the uh, red stones. What do you like if this card's made? You dare come off that uh, wide red? That's might might get lucky into those back that back Too situation. It's it's pretty tricky to get a good part of the button because of where that yellow is. It's got a, a good chunk of the button. I, I think you'd have to try or at least give yourself a maybe even a setup shot. Maybe even some sort of a freeze so you've got two angles in okay. at it. Line's good. Top twelve. Tight. Yeah, half half buried? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're top twelve. I'm trying to okay, have it stop side. short of the forefoot. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. That's good. Sorry. Well, a couple of options here. The one I the one I was mentioning was this run onto the inside edge of this stone. Save this for you me. could come right into yeah. the pocket here, and the shooter we might even try. spin back up this direction. So there's a couple of options on that side yeah. of the sheet. Go there. Okay. Or draw there, but you can't get second shot by drawing there. That's the the only thing I don't like about don't, this shot. Like pop or I don't mind if they if they actually, actually put it what? not quite Play frozen to that. We, On which? we can almost tap it to the same spot. Ours? The, yeah, the two yellows there. Looking at okay. yellow, yellow, red. Tap. Like same weight. Maybe a hair less uh, weight. That might be the play, actually. That uh, yellow, yellow onto the red. You know the angle's going to be good. And you can even throw a bit of weight, like back, back line. You'll kick that yellow that's on the top of the button out to the left. Also good. This is definitely an easier play than drawing to the side of the button, I would say. <laughs> Hair Much easier. And if they can move that yellow Clean. off yes. the button, that's ideal. Clean. Catch it high side. Yeah. Yeah, hard, hard, hard. Jim working hard on this. Hard, read up. Hard. Lines in the ballpark. Right. Not heavy, though. Just had to hit it quite a, bit, quite a bit harder than that, actually. I didn't want to be heavy and line it up for her to kill them all out there. Yeah, no, that's I fair. I was cautious. That Sorry. is fair. You didn't want to be too heavy, but you, you didn't want to be too light. As you can see here, uh, just not only a bit of an overcurl, but also just not enough weight to move it. They would have, at bare minimum, liked to have tap that red into I something more usable. Yeah. yeah, it would have, would have I was actually gonna see if it was over, how much overburied it was. Six feet more at least to, to, to do any positive <laughs> movement of those stones. Jen Dodds is gonna take on this outside yellow, the one at the top of the button. They're gonna try to, she's gonna try to chip it onto the one that's on the button. So there you go, overburied by a quarter of a stone. Overburied though, if you, if you picture the path that the rock has to take down there, it, that guard isn't really in the way if, if you you're going to make it. Yeah, if you hit that guard with backline or hack weight, you'll wreck on the, on the other one. So. Jen will be close. And she's going to sweep her own rocks, and for good reason. One of the, you know, top five Thank most you. powerful sweepers Please. in the world <laughs> maybe yeah, i don't know that's not even a maybe really she's Curl. such a such a Whoa. great brusher Curl. Curl. All the way. All the way. will it curl enough it does and there you go and with these striking bands the rocks just bounce off pretty easily in uh, exhibit a right, right there draw here they're now oh, even yeah, sitting two shot, after right? this. You see her carving it in, knifing it yeah, in. Draw here. Okay. Just enough weight. And to your point, it didn't even come that close to the guard, made the shot nicely. Missed the guard by a couple of inches. Don't think you can come off that wide one anymore. The red's in the way. And but I don't see you're getting in there for even to even for second shot. So we're talking about drawing the side of the button here. I think it, it is doable the way it finishes here to uh, to get shot rock. Yeah, yeah, giving up one actually would be a good result there. here. Just get to the edge Pull of the button. Yeah, edge of me. Okay. Yeah. So Big Shot wants to cut down a potential steal of two. Might be possible to get shot stone, but uh, a little pressure here on Jalen Cotter. How's the line? Gotta go a little bit. Hair heavy. Hey, line's good. Yep. 
Yep. Yes. She's diving. Oh, hard. Hard. Don't think it's going to get by. Okay. And that is going to wreck out front. And that will be two yellow. Nice shot there from Jen Dodd. Sets up a steal of two. So team from Scotland takes control. They'll jump out to a 5-1 lead here through three. Hi, I'm John Epping, and from all of us at Radical Road Brewing, the makers of my signature beer, Epic Ale, we want to wish you a very happy and healthy holiday season. Early power play here, Danielle. Well, from Jim and the Jalen Cotter, you're in the in the fourth end. Yeah, well, when you get into some trouble, uh, you don't always have to wait till the end of the game to use it. Uh, sometimes you need to call stop the bleeding here a bit, uh, gain some confidence, get a few more points back on the board. You say uh, in mixed doubles, anything can happen. Big ends are quite common, uh, though. The Cotters are going to need a big end right here to get themselves uh, back in the game a little bit more comfortable. So the major difference here with the power play is that the pre-position stone for the team with last rock is at the back of the button, just, just touching the outside edge of the forefoot. The big difference and big advantage in the power play is that the stone is now just touching the top of the T-line, as you can see where that red stone is positioned. Okay. So it makes it a little bit easier for the team with Last Rock, and obviously moving to the, to the side. But. You can see on that tick attempt, they, they didn't quite get it out there, so the Cotters can, they can play, they can almost Christmas tree this rock in, in a round. That would be a really good situation. Top, top four are half buried behind that. Uh, corner guard would be perfect. Pretty good. Yeah, no, no hits at oh, all yeah. can be played until Mine's five good. rocks are in play. So Mine's even if this freezes to the nose of the Mine's red, good. there's no He's takeout option for Bruce Mout on his first stone. Really needs to curl. So either get it Christmas tree, as you say, which is about half buried behind the yellow and would half guard the one good. that's there, or right in front is the, the other good option. Good. Understanding good. that they can't hit now. There? They, they yeah. left a pretty good angle. If they weren't going Christmas tree, this is the it's second good best. Down here. Have I got it, the double? As you mentioned it, is there a double they can't there? play it yet. Yeah, you've got about just under a fill there. Right. Yes. Bruce just asking if there was any double available. If those were dead frozen together, the top red wouldn't 51. be able to be removed, but Jen just uh, sharing the rock positioning with him. So the call is to draw beside this red stone. Okay. We go over him just now. Blinded. And for those who know uh, Bruce is a skip, he does work very hard at this mixed doubles Art, discipline over, has, and has worth with Jen over the years. So Sorry. His, uh, okay. what's his, his energy level may not be where it needs to be compared to, uh, <laughs> to his teammates Bobby Lammy and, uh, and Hemi McMillan here? Jr. Or but uh, yeah, the technique's solid. And, guard, right? but, uh, you're no. saying you don't get a big workout from the six feet behind the T line. No, not saying? much, not much. <laughs> he's got his two ways. Yeah, go over here. But I, as, right. as skips yeah. go, he's, he's better than most. <laughs> Are you lying? We can freeze that back one. The problem for freeze that shot back. for Bruce is that he's actually taken away his own double. You, if you went through the port to hit the red directly, the top red's not going out of play. So now having said that, it's Bruce Mount, so he'll angle race that yellow <laughs> and probably still make it. But uh, but it, it does free up some options here for the Cotters. They're going to just draw to the open side, Good down throw. to that back Aaron yellow. Outside. 
it up. They just want to make sure they're saying three by the end of this shot. But uh, Jim right. is backing right Why off good, of it. Eh? That's pretty good. There is backing Close. back there. Clean. There's one at the back eight yeah. foot. Clean. So. Yeah, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. It's pretty good. Hard, 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 hard. Make it good. Hard, hard, hard. That's good. That's good, isn't it? I think. Yep. That is pretty good. You gotta remember, slower towards the glass here. Can't can't back too far off yeah. the rock. So as mentioned, it's uh, it's Bruce Mowat throwing. So he's going to be playing this angle raise onto this corner of that red. Try to make the double, and the yellow no, will work so. its way back towards this one over here. So. Let's see where the dust settles after Bruce is done. He's really looking to get rid of the two reds at the side of the, partially behind the guard. We're right behind the ice. This is pretty close. Actually, good break for the Cotters. They uh, didn't get rid of the two on the right and also didn't get rid of the one at the back back uh, eight there. foot. Please. Just had to hit a little thinner actually to make sure you got both of those yellow uh, reds on the right hand side. Yeah. Was never yeah, going to be able to get all three of them yeah. out, but we want yeah. to cross it just still a chance well, to lie three here for shouldn't drag that quick. Jim again the danger, you know, Bruce is throwing got one more double right opportunity. On the nose or just to cross a hair. Okay. So they're playing the same kind of weight. They're just trying to tap and it, the reason why they're not wanting to take it out is they want to use that as backing. As you mentioned, Mike, no Bruce is going to be throwing a double here, so trying to make it uh, more difficult gives them backing so that uh, there's a jam. <laughs> the Reds might catch on something on the way out the back. We need a hair less. Okay. Definitely a tighter okay. line here. Line's good. Stay. Yep. Weight's good. Whoa. Looks hot from here. It's pretty good. Clean. Yep. Yep. Yep, hard, 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 hard. Sorry, Dad. Okay, just curl, hey? Curl the hair more. Yeah, I was thinking of this one. Yeah. It just gives not give me two. That's, that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. I think it's a situation that would be okay with that. Yeah. If you're seeing that one, I don't mind that, because even if you come over here... Yeah, I'm thinking even if I roll to there, yeah, it's really good. They need to make a play, so I don't mind this call. A lot of good things can happen by coming off the wide there. Yep. I still have two, right? Or, no. no, this is your last. All right, okay. So if, by coming in here, there's a couple things. that You can okay. either roll just one. into here and this stop. One. I think so. Or they okay. can go onto this one, onto here as well, or they can hit it hit kind of in the pocket and maybe get all three reds moving. And you know Bruce will be throwing some weight at this. So a lot, a lot of good options. Good yeah. As long as he's uh, on the inside of it, and he will be, he'll be close. Well, and this is the shot that he saw first too. So often your, your first instinct is, is the best call and the one you're most likely to make. They've gone for the other side of the sheet, actually. Going to play the double on the reds at the back. Yep. Hard. Hard. Got to go. And this is the one that they were talking job, about, uh, giving up the gimme two. And re so. really a scoreboard call as well. Being up, they want to to make sure that uh, all of the Cotter okay. rocks are going away. So, so you Rolling. saw the call switch. This turn? Oh, turn, yeah. Yeah, about 5-1. Why, why risk giving up three? <laughs> and that was the easier double here. We yes. talked about that that wide in off being a good situation, but uh, it's it's easier when the rocks are closer together, so they opted for the easier one. Give me one. a hair more, I'm gonna throw a hair less. Hair, oh. Give me a hair more, I'll throw a closer bit less. Closer to board. <laughs> okay. More ice for less weight. The rock will curl more is the thought. This is a, a spot on the ice that we've seen curl as well. So, and, and Jim's will curl his out turn if we've 
pointed out a few times here uh, over the two games they've been on. Four. Clean. Yes. Yeah. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Right up. Couldn't okay. do much but hit and stay there, so Jen Dodds will try the double. You can make the double if you want, but. Jen doesn't like it. Doesn't like the the red, sort of the uh, yellow kind of in his in her mind's eye. Well, she has to like the look of it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Well, when you look at it from the hack, it, you have all of the red rock. As you can see there, the guard is there, but the hesitation also comes from, as I mentioned earlier, you don't spend much time playing inside out on these sheets, so you're not as familiar with how it'll run. But you heard uh, Jennifer ask Bruce about how his ran when he threw it here, and he reassured her it was pretty straight, so that, that's given her the confidence to throw the shot. Seems to throw it clean. Clean. Yep. Four. Good effort. Had to hit it a little thinner. You like the intern? Yeah. And that's probably also just a, more about what we call a safe throw, too. She's wanting to make sure to hit a, at least a good chunk of it to remove the one. You see the, the over curl All right, on that. Right on the button. So you she she throws it hard and straight, but uh, but her partner Bruce throws it a little bit harder, a little bit straighter, too. So we saw extra curl on that shot. So good use of the power play, though, to uh, get rid of that hammer as uh, we head into end number five. But Jalen still needs to hit the rings. I like it. But, you should uh, go a little bit. Well, can, I'm, I'm conceding her this point, Danielle. Okay. <laughs> should, should be no trouble as uh, Jim cleans it into the rings. Just need to touch paint. And no trouble at all here as uh, Jalen Cotter's successful drawing to the house to tighten things up here. That will be a 5-3 count after four ends of play. And I like what we've been seeing here from both of these teams, particularly Team Mowat and Dodds, Danielle. And what's, uh, what are they going to need to do here in the second half with uh, the Cotters to catch up? Uh, Dodds and Mowat, they, they need to hold their... Uh, their play and uh, the Cotters really, uh, they need to make a few more critical shots as well. They've they've left a few shots on the table and uh, they can really turn this game around if they just sink some perfectly and really just make a few strong shots in a row. Well, Jen Dodds and Bruce Mowat uh, will have a game plan, no doubt, for the second half here. And we'll send things down to Devin Roos uh, standing by with, uh, with the duo. World-class communication, so much trust between the two of you, Jen and Bruce. Jen, we saw it on, on your last rock in the third end, uh, a line call, a finesse shot. Uh, how much do you work on communication in this game? Um, I think it's one of the most important parts of curling in general, if it's men's or ladies or mixed doubles. Um, there's so much information um, that can be communicated that can make a huge impact uh, with the shot and the outcome. Um, with that shot in the third end, I wasn't 100% sure it was there, but I was like, I'm just going to trust Bruce. He's pretty good at this, so uh, I'm going to trust him, and I'm glad I did, so yeah. Turned out well. Uh, Bruce, a 5-3 lead at the break, but this is mixed doubles. Do you like where you are at this point of the game? Yeah, of course. Um, up in the game with Hammer, I mean, it's a good spot to be in. Tough to defend, but um, yeah, we're playing pretty well. Pretty happy with how the ice has been and how we're throwing it, so... Yeah, hopefully have another good four ends. I'll let you both get back to it. Good luck. Thank you. All right, a 5-3 lead for Bruce and Jen over the Cotters. But like I said, no lead is safe. The second half of this elimination game coming up. You can order my signature beer, Epic Ale, online all across Canada at 99bottleshop.com. There, you can browse the wide selection of Radical Road beers, H2 Spirits, and the boutique selection of wines, food, and much more. Cheers.
Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. BDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Who cares if the furnace is out? That's doing it right there. I'm gonna have to lose a layer. Dad, I don't think this is working. Let me turn up the volume for you. Ooh, it's almost too hot, huh? There's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Service Experts Heating and Air Conditioning keep you warm and worry-free with the Advantage program for just one low monthly payment. Guys, come back, I'm doing s'mores. Well, after the fourth end break, happy to be back here from Brantford for the CBC Mixed Double Super Series. Mike Harris and Daniel Ingus bringing you the Epic Ale Players Championship C qualifiers. Yeah. No kidding. Winners make it to the quarterfinals tomorrow, and the uh, losers can drown their sorrows in Epic Ale this evening. So, not much decided yet here, although, as uh, we heard from Bruce Mao, it's a two up with the hammer is always good, but hard to defend. So, what are, uh, as you mentioned, young Jalen here needs to start with a, a good draw to the button. But you've played a, a number of uh, these games, and and uh, what's the mindset for the, the top teams and when you're, when you're, it's kind of a close game still. It is, yeah, and that's exactly the mindset you have to have, that Whoa. that it's a close game for both Only teams. For, for, for Jalen and Jim, they just have to think, even though they, they've been having to mount a comeback here, it's still a very close game when you look at the score in mixed doubles, anything can happen. Uh, if you're Jennifer and Bruce, you, you can't get too comfortable here either. You've just got to uh, keep time? making the shots, really. What, oh, no, what they've been doing okay, has nice. has really brought them to a great spot, but they can't let off that gas pedal for a moment. Well, perfect start for Jalen Cotter on her first. Dead buried on the button, directly in front of that zone at the back four foot. So certainly uh, starting off properly to try to build a steal. Both teams doing well on time. Cotter's with 13 minutes. Dodd Mowat with 12 and a half, so uh, no concern on shot? time rate yet. We're shot. Okay, just, yeah, freeze in there. I like coming this way. Let's hear Jim say he'd like to freeze in there. Asking who a shot top stone. Ball, top eight. Keys not to Kate. disturb much and really Kate make close. sure you get yours to the center line. Create a line. Just straight, straight. Yep, yep, Line's yep, perfect yep, yep. again. Hard. Okay. Right where he said it was going yep. to be going, right to the top 12. Again, want to get that a little more buried. Yellow is accessible on the left side. So I, I would say it would be that would be more of a tolerant shot though where the cotters are at with the score they they really need to just they've been so close on them but you can see that a good line not quite the weight um, and it'll make a difference especially if if Bruce makes a, a good freeze on this shot. Bruce would love yep. to, to freeze on the yellow and Hi. nudge it probably an inch just Way's to be good. shot stone. Way's good. Back four. Yep. Keep on and, it. and the key again, not bouncing a yep. shooter out into the open. Oh, pretty good. Update from Ooh. our other C qualifier. Jones and Lang have stolen two now. to okay. jump out to a two point lead. If we can get underneath Over a little, it'd be real good. Walker and Myers. Underneath the red a little bit. It's not quite quite enough of a lead yet to put in my drink order with you, Mike. 
with oh, our, our right. bet on I that game. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we have a bet going. <laughs> Long game yet. <laughs> <laughs> I finished talking about how two-point lead in the game here. <laughs> Doesn't mean a ton, now but it's I'm quite an confident Now it's an insurmountable there. lead on sheet four, but uh, this, game, this, this game's up for grabs. Uh, <laughs> Running like it's well, hot. No, it's not bad though. Okay. Wait, it's pretty good. Okay, close. Yep. Well, yep, yep. Very crowded in there now. Okay. It's not bad. Gosh, if you could ever go red, red, yellow, yellow, you could really do some damage in there. Your second shot, sir. I think it's pretty cool. The Cotters really have set up some we're... some good okay. angles here, or at least challenging ones. You can see uh, Jennifer and Bruce He's having to take more, a good he? look at yeah. this. If you can ever hit as much as you can see of that red on the Is right. It? Yeah, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> I feel like Bru we don't really have much. Bruce sees it. On this side just now, I think that's that's the danger one. Okay. You can peel, like you can hit what he sees, but. Pardon? If he hits what he sees, that's. We're only line one, but that's fine. Yeah. Think so, Jen. Yeah. Gonna Did guard the red. Oh, is that a hit max? Say that again. So that red, red combination in the front is lined up dangerously onto those ball. two in the okay. on the button. Yeah. So even though they have the hammer they're going to use this guard uh, defensively just to to make sure that Jalen and Jim don't have much go right yeah okay stay close then heard Bruce say top yep. eight so whoa, whoa, that is much heavier than he was hoping Eli. to throw okay whoa, whoa, and sit behind it okay yeah go there. yep you buy it so here's perfect yep yep no, no, no. yep this is the reverse freeze. <laughs> Very fancy. <laughs> That's a really that? bad break for the Cotters, actually. That's not, that was not the call. And it ended up in a perfect spot for Jen and Bruce. Yeah, just not right onto this one. Really did. That yellow is not going anywhere. That's all right. Yeah. With board, I feel like they won't move very much. Yeah, it should... We don't have to like kill them. We just yeah, need to move yeah. them out of there. A little here. less. Yeah, as you can see here, the the red red combination now it's a little bit tougher. On to here. So this one should go. The problem now is this back yellow is in the way. For this but one, I mean, it'll just stay here. So board. here, Jim say best we can do is to leave them lying one. So red red onto the top yellow. If that stone had not stopped exactly where it is, it would be a little bit more trouble for the Scots. Okay. Assuming this Good. gets made, of course. Okay, close. Yeah. Yes. Got to keep it outside Hard. the line. Hard. Just took a left-hand turn. Hard. Go. Yeah, it's about as good as they could have done, actually. Good result. It looks like they might be second shot at the back button. Yeah, yellow only line one. And they've also left their their red in a good position as good you unlucky. see here. Over curled actually. Just yeah. a, just a hair, but uh, much better position than they were uh, a rock ago. So that red, red, red now at the middle doesn't do anything to shot stone. The, the red in the top, just biting the top four, is open for a tap, and so that's why you're you're seeing Bruce guard it right now. Yeah, I just don't know. Uh, looks looks like one yellow coming. <laughs> hard to hard to figure out a way to get a second one right. in there with a the guard being made here. You might just hey, see another fine. guard from the Cotters. Line's good for tight. Might add to be over curling, Bruce. Okay. We are over curling one to this one. Can you bring it there? Hit. Sorry. Hit. Oh, sorry. 
Over curled, but it might have, might have done the trick. Like, uh, yeah, board. I'm going to try the same board. shot. Red, red, yeah. red to the yellow on the right side of the button. Just run fairly straight here, just smooth. And doesn't want to chip that top red, the one touching the forefoot out too far to the right. Might leave some sort of in off or draw to the side of the button for two. So again, don't need to whip it. Extra weight yeah. now. Yeah. You can just draw, yeah. chip in yeah. to the top of the button. Yeah. You can let me know what the yeah. weight is. It's really just a line shot for uh, Jen Dodds. Watch the t the middle red kind of springs out to the right. Yeah. That, that's, uh, that's a problem. They really wanted to catch more of that top red to prevent it. <laughs> so you can. Uh, there's a there's enough room to have your yellow come between those two reds on the top of the button and, and get to the yellow and be shot stone. Just a good look at it from there. It'll it'll curl in there nicely with the right weight. Full slide. Okay, now you back eight. Okay. Well, line's good. Oh, curl. Weight's okay straight, then. Straight. Weight's good. Straight. Weight's good. Whoa. Back four. Yeah. We'll go to get by the one at the top of the eight foot. That yeah, looks pretty good. Very nice. Right to the button. So a nice draw by Jen Dodds, and they will get to right back and jump back out into that four point lead. So they'll lead 7 3 here after five ends of play. Radical Road's Epic Ale is the perfect, easy drinking beer to have after a curling game. Please ask your manager to carry it in your curling club today. Available only in Alberta and Ontario. Sixth end of the Epic Ale Players Championship, our C qualifier, winner of this game, and the other C qualifier out on sheet four. To the left, you see Kirk Myers on the backboards there. The winner of both of these games move into the quarterfinals tomorrow morning at, is it 9 a.m.? It's early for me, Danielle. I just uh, had to look over and verify that with you. but. <laughs> We'll get you a big coffee There you go, tomorrow. big coffee, perfect. <laughs> so they'll play the quarterfinals, 9 a.m. I think I'll just give you that first. I'm Loser, is, unfortunately, is done. Does not qualify for the playoffs. It's, it's truly amazing to think that two of these four teams on the ice right now will be done. Such strong teams. It, it speaks to the strong field that we've had here in Brantford. Like it. Yeah, Jim and Jalen, of course. Uh, I mean, most most curling fans know Jim quite well. It's said from his years of playing out of BC and our finals and trials finals. And our two Olympic medalists here, their opponents. And I don't know how many uh, Canadian championships sit over there on the Jones Lang. You know, Jen's won six. Brent, Brent's won five. He's won a lot anyway, five world championships. <laughs> the Olympics as well for him. So, tons of experience over there against Canadian champions in Myers and Walker, <laughs> Canadian mixed doubles champs. So, uh, yeah, tons of experience and, and a lot of good teams already have gone, gone home. They've already been eliminated from play. 
worth noting. Marie Caldy and Harry Lil from Estonia went through the A side. They are uh, dedicated mixed Mine's double really specialists. Uh, so maybe a little bit of a surprise for people who don't know them well. And then the other A qualifiers uh, from Switzerland, yeah. world champions Intern. Jenny Perret and yeah, Martin Rios. Olympic silver medalist from you know best, Young Chang as well. So very, very accomplished mix up the team. And they've, they've been in the playoffs in every, of every one of these <laughs> Super Series events. So uh, may, maybe the most experienced yeah. mixed doubles team in the field. It's great for the teams, uh, the Canadian teams, to have the opportunity to play these international teams before you get to the world championship level. So. It's fantastic to have them coming over here and for Canada to really be expanding the events, especially with this uh, super series that we have. It's good. Yeah, yeah, kind of the brainchild of uh, Canadian mixed doubles Thanks champion Wayne Tuck, Tuck and Red. Jay Allen, who's, uh, who's a familiar Red's great. curling top 12, top okay. curler, curling okay. organizer. Okay, well, uh, you know, well, ran the Brantford event for many, many yep. years, Jay Allen yep. and his, and his uh, yep. crew here in Brantford always do a great job. Yeah, so. Nice. Um, yeah, the, this, this brainchild to kind of develop this, this high performance nice. series in mixed doubles, similar to the one we see in the men's yeah, and women's like, game, yeah. the, the Grand Slam series. So I think all the mixed doubles uh, athletes are very excited about the potential for this, uh, this series to grow. You like that? And you're yeah, seeing it's max. teams elect okay. to be playing more of these mixed doubles spiels as well. You will uh, Though you we have some specialists on the ice, there are Talk quite a few players who still good. have their respective men's and women's teams. But yeah. more often we're seeing the, the mixed doubles is now playing a role in their scheduling for the season. They're making this more of a priority. And, and even the ones who do play on a four-person team, they, 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 you have to be on a four-person team that understands that mixed doubles good. is also important to you. Where, Smooth uh, inside, you know, not bad. If you Clean. don't work on the four on the mixed Clean. doubles Clean. <laughs> discipline, whoa, whoa. it's Lisa really Carl. difficult to be successful whoa. now with uh, the way she the finished. way this uh, yep. sport has developed. Yep. And I, I call it a, a sport yep. as yep. almost hard, like a different hard, sport hard, because hard, it is. Hard, it's hard, a, it's hard, a very hard, different skill set. And uh, you know, it's it's really it's just that it's really the Olympics changed everything, didn't it, with this with this discipline? It truly did. Well, yeah, you like you it. saw things yeah. like the tick Almost on the guard earlier for for the power play. That's something yeah. that's pretty unique Maybe to not, to mixed doubles, and uh, like that's played pretty often. With, with seven. Yeah. Or and learning the dynamic between two players. Yep, I like it. Great. And it's the type of shot you you that's not the type of shot you throw in any other discipline. So you need to practice that <laughs> with one sweeper or, or doing it on your own or however you want to yeah. want to attack it. Well, speaking of which, you've got to also okay. learn how to jump up and sweep your own rock. That it is slightly different than just being ready to sweep. It takes slightly different mus muscle group and also the ability to switch back and forth on, on your sweeping to hold the line or help a curl. Well, the athleticism for some of the athletes who are able to throw this big weight peel and get up and sweep their own is absolutely incredible. Good, nice up. Bruce Mowat doing a nice job with the run back. That's the other thing too with two players, you need to have both players, they both need to be strong. They both need to be able to bail or, or make a critical shot, critical draw. Yeah, or, or we line it up. Good news on sheet four. Game is tied. Six, excuse me, five, five through six. So you don't order that beer yet, Danielle. <laughs> I'm liking that. We've got a power play situation going on over there. So I don't know, Mike. I'm looking at my chances here in the seventh for a drink. Jones and, Jones and Lang have, uh, have the okay, hammer, and they've, uh, they've put the power play into the mix. The good news if for uh, Mao Dodds, the run back, is it did up. open up the uh, this, the situation the forfeit, and they, the and, uh, however, and then ours, only got rid of one, one of the reds, and there's still okay. an opportunity to, to move some stones around here, so and not leave any easy doubles for okay. for Mao and Dodds. So I think I try to move that red back a little, uh, roll yep. the shooter to the right, rattle things around <laughs> in behind. You'd seen they uh, rearranging the angles is really what they they need to do right now to get that yellow off of uh, being lined up on the back red. Yeah, and the, you know with the way get Bruce, throw. how hard Wait, he could throw it, hey, uh, both reds clean, could, yeah. could be removed from play. That's uh, yeah. Jim recognizes that and Whoa. 
asking. Clean. Wait's good. Clean. Yep. Or hoping yep. Yep. to, yep. to yep. roll yep. to the inside just a little. Good. I think that's better. I think, so. I think so. The way it's lined up there, they left themselves that uh, red yellow. Yeah. They didn't unlock that back red as much as they wanted, though. This is where Mallet and Dodds are, are. They see things. See, Bruce especially sees the game a little bit differently. Yeah, he looked at. Shall we just throw the run back again? Yeah, you know, running that guard that's eight feet out in front of the rings onto they, they the yellow, leave. onto the red that was just thrown. And <laughs> does anyone question that he makes those shots anymore? I don't think. I don't think so after the last three years. So he said, let's just run the yellow into the red again. And so that's a you know ten foot run to a very precise area. And that, that's the difference between the men's and the women's game. The men are, not that the women aren't making those, but the men are just making yeah. them with such consistency. I think, I think Mike, you and I were talking about this before the game, no. about how the men are just pushing so themselves so hard and you've got to you've got to be four. perfect. So and, think, yeah, and really that it, the confidence it, it takes to just say, oh, yeah, well, we're going to run that, that guard eight feet back and remove four stones. And a lot of it has to do with the sweeping techniques that's been discovered over the last couple of years, where you don't have to be actually as accurate with the throw, where the sweeping can manipulate the line. So, you know, you have to have full ability to yep. to move the stone or make it curl or, or back it out, which Jen Dodds can do, by the way. That's another, <laughs> we got another player here who can, who can do the same thing. But, uh, I had a good chat with Eve Muirhead. She won the mixed doubles Almost the year after okay. Mowat and Dodson with her partner, Bobby Lammy. And Bobby, who wow, sweeps for Bruce right Mowat, is, is kind of recognized as okay. one of the top five sweepers in the world. And, and uh, she just said it just well, felt easy. Yeah, I didn't exactly. have to hit the broom exactly so the way I used to. And yeah, I could just kind of get it somewhere way. close. Yeah, and Bobby can make it curl or make it fall, actually. Um, at will, no, so good. This is, so that's it's a huge skill to have, and you just can't be successful without great sweeping. And that's where I said, Jen, Jen, uh, Jen's such an impressive athlete. Once you, you watch her, watch her sweep. I couldn't agree more. And then you got old Jim here in the hack, Jim Cotter. <laughs> I only say that because I'm older than Jim, but that's uh, Jim, uh, Jim, the uh, longtime skip. But uh, you know. To be honest, he, he actually Same way. didn't yes. call the game all that often, so he does have uh, yes. quite a bit of sweeping experience for a guy who used to throw last stones at the uh, in the men's game, so hard. pretty good sweeper go, 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 go. Hard, as well. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, hard, hard. So, so again, just trying to not allow any doubles. And they, uh, as, as good as we are singing his praises there, they are hoping yep. to hold the line more on the high side. <laughs> yep. It, it did, a, you're going to see it as it comes in. He gets a finish enough that yeah. a piece well, wait, you might be buried oh, there to take away that, uh, that double. Hits. Like you can hit seven eights and still make it. I think you can see edge on edge. Yep. From our high. Mine did nothing. So, Jen, you're going to hit 7 8. So, the good news is by hitting this, this red, to get enough of the back red here is actually quite difficult. The one on, on the left, the problem is if, if it just buzzes by and clips the yellow, the back like red's normal? gone anyway. So, you're almost invariably going to get rid of two reds here. Like with any, if you're close to the middle. The, the, the call is to get rid of the, the, the first two that we're, <laughs> that we're looking at here. But with a with a seven three lead, get rid of any two is, is a good shot. Carol. Carol. Trying, trying to make it carve. Carol. Carol. Doing a good job. Really good shot. Well, now we'll get rid of all three. How about that? <laughs> Even better. Even better, and stick around to sit three. What a shot! And you could see that that carving the knifing skills right there by Jen. Perfect. That takes the, the window of the sails here for the Cotter team. Yeah, sure does. Okay. And uh, right. let's not forget oh. that Mountain Dodge still have okay, their power play. So if this draw we'll is made, I suspect bit. we'll see the power play next end and make sure that uh, Dodds and will eight, eh? use that yeah. to make sure they score. Yeah, exact the usual. guard's not in my way. Yeah, same weight you threw on your first one. Okay. The exact same.
looking for the button. Jalen Connor on her like last stone here in end number six. Felt there. How's the line? Felt there. Line's good. Pretty good. Line's really good. You have backing. Got backing? Yep. Well. This is curling in nicely. Looks pretty good. Good shot, kid. No trouble at all. Nice shot, kid. Says dad. So Jalen covers the button and uh, Jim kicks him off. But it's successful end here for Dodds and Moa. They will hold Cotter to one. It'll be 7 5 as we, excuse me, 7 4 as we head to the seventh end. Hi, I'm John Epping, and from all of us at Radical Road Brewing, the makers of my signature beer, Epic Ale, we want to wish you a very happy and healthy holiday season. Is it time to take your event online? Bring it to IKS Live. We've got a fully customized virtual event platform with remote guest support for your next fundraiser, talk show, conference, performance, and more. IKS Live offers live streaming to Facebook Live and YouTube and pre-recorded capabilities, both in our studio with green screen available and on location with pre-production and post-production services. Visit us at ikslive.ca. Seventh end of action here on a Saturday night in Brantford. Cotter and right Cotter here, need to steal their way okay. to victory here now, Danielle. But uh, the harder to do when your opponents throw up a power play. They do. So this is, right. like, you can uh, use a power play defensively or offensively. In this case, uh, yeah, Dodds and Mauder are using it more defensively if anything they, they, they would I mean it's almost both in this case they're wanting to score on this end for sure but a bit more of a defensive move for sure try to prevent make it very different difficult for the uh, the Cotters to try to steal their way to win as you put it there Mike but uh, we're seeing Jalen throw a, a guard here on her first sit down Sit. Okay. And that will slip in, but with the free guard zone in place, that We're rock shot. can't be removed from play yet. You can come round it if you want. Like it come is. round our gu the guard if you want. Go round the guard if you want. Like just freeze our yellow. Yeah, yeah the reason uh, Bruce is, is kind of hustling his way down here is that stone, they're hoping to keep that near the center line and, and short. Yeah, but worst down. case now, yeah. once this and rock comes to rest what, did you take and the Cotters throw their yeah. next rock, Bruce can start playing doubles and run backs, et cetera, and, and open things up. And no danger of the button ever getting covered. So it's not like? where Line's the good. Cotters would have liked to we place that the first stone, certainly. Line's good. We all nice. Where are and, uh, we? Back big update okay, from Roland. sheet four. Oh, Jones and Lang picked up their two points. They'll have a two point lead heading to the eighth. Myers and Walker Sorry. have used their power play. So I'll try to keep you updated, folks, as uh, the Rocks. Want to like be this side of the center line, though. Make their way down. Uh, come around from Jen Dodds, like slid behind the tee line, so that's not a not a great result. Rock. See, okay. we haven't really seen a, a successful draw round attempt on the inside out uh, for any of these power plays. It's uh, they haven't quite gotten the line. It it's not curling as much as the teams expect, and in some cases, in most cases, they've come a hair heavy, which we just saw. So this opens. This is the kind of miss that the Cotter team needed. Hair tight. So now they okay. they can make a, a play. If they can get this one in a great position, they're looking for a guard. Where is it? Sorry. It could uh, be part of the key to their their comeback. Yeah, over and off. That's okay. good. That's okay. Cause yeah, we'll, that's fine. That's we'll, fine. We're just gonna throw another center here anyway. Another guard. It's so that long. long. That's the thing. Hey. I think we'd be able to get it right there really easily. Right. Well, wait. Whatever you like. 
Sorry. So King yeah. Eddie hitting that red just off nose. Avoid the yellow at the back. Don't roll really to the right an inch or two. No, you want to go to here. I'd rather even roll out. Yeah, roll out's fine. Okay. I'll throw hat. Okay, do that. Yeah. More. Bruce doesn't want to leave any stones near the top 12 that the cotters can draw behind. So even rolling out is fine, is Please. the comment. Yep. It's good. Yep. Heavy. Clean. You're heavy. Clean. Definitely going to roll to the outside. It. Cotters are going all in here. They're going to throw uh, stone yeah. top 12. We six minutes. Here. Or just a tight center yeah, guard mean, actually around the high center. Reggie. And they, they really do need a, another center guard. That that red rock, from this angle, it looks like it's further over the hog line than it is, but especially because of the way this ice curls. Um, it's If you tried to bury a rock around, it would still be accessible even if it was fully buried. So they need a second center guard in order to uh, be able to use it, really. Yeah, with, with either turn, actually. There's uh, beautiful ice conditions here this week, this weekend. And kudos to Scott Foster and Rick Allen uh, for their work on the ice surface this weekend. Good. Weight's good. Mine's good. Yeah, weight's good. Mine's really good. Close. Don't want to. Okay, well then. Let her nestle. I think she'll let it stop. Yeah. It's okay. Well, sit. That's good. And sit it will. I think so. Yeah. Close one right where they wanted it. He's got one more after this, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. It really couldn't have placed it much better. I feel like it'll do. I don't think I'll do anything. No. I'm trying to hit it thick so it just keeps the yep. corner there. And the peel, they were, Bruce was actually trying to hit that bit thicker to keep it around as a corner, but of course she didn't want to be too cute with it. Now you can see that the tight guard is in a, a much better place to, to come around and that's exactly what Jim's going to do. Like to, if they could walk it down right in behind Half in the four foot full four would be ideal. Yeah, dead buried for shot stone in front you of like the teal would be would be good anywhere. Yeah, this was nice for your guards. Okay. Should be fine. It's good. So close. How's the line? It's a little out there. It's getting better though. It's getting better. Weight's pretty good. It needs to okay. curl a little. Mine's good. Mine's really good. Mine's really nice. Really good. It needs to sit. Hard. Sit. So it sits, but just behind T and actually poked yep. a hair out the so. other side. I like it. Me too. <laughs> pretty good shot though. From, from Jim, all he could do really. Is this stupid at all? I think you still have that. That's true, yeah. So Jenny had, had <laughs> Jen had started going down the ice and Came back when she she saw that opportunity to come off the yellow, but uh, as Bruce mentioned, you can leave it there for later if, if needed. Well, and keeping it simple is a good thing. Well, so if the peel's made, do we uh, you guard for your life here, Danielle, or do you lob another one in there? Thank you. Already? Yeah. You can. Guarded, eh? Well, I think yeah. if you're going to steal, be... you've got to play the I don't guard. Think I'd that, but... Is it better to be higher just to make the run a little harder? Well, you could cut it off a hair on this side, but then... 
wouldn't make her make that. It's, it's yeah, I guess giving. tighter would be. Yeah, tighter's good. Like right there on the. Yeah. Take guard. At like, the end of the day, you can't take away everything. Right, just just guard. I guard. I don't okay. think you want to leave any of it open. That's that would be. Yeah. Not good. You know. You know. Gen Dawes will chase it. So, guard it perfectly first, and then worry about the depth afterwards. Yeah. They, like you said, perfect guard, and then force Jen into playing that that in off they were talking about off the yellow. Hey, Jay. Pretty nice there. Okay. Still sliding Slower good. Slower than I think. Slower than I think. Yeah. Looking for a guard. This needs to needs to be over. Need to scrub to get it over. This is well short. If it's over, it's going to be very high guard. Dad working hard to get it across the hog line, and he does it. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's guarded. It's guarded. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long run back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a long run back. <laughs> Trying to talk uh, <laughs> Jen Dodds into playing the run back. I don't think she's going to fall for it, Dad, but uh, good, good try. try. Oh, too funny. Back line to Hack Waiter coming for three. And a six point lead, and that would likely be handshakes. Like this? Yeah. Now it should be close for that line. So, for the win, more than likely, Jen Dodds and her final stone here in end number seven needs to get by the guard, needs Pearl. to tap that red out of the eight foot circle. This is well out there, needs to curl. Pearl. Got the right person <laughs> sweeping it here. All the way. They're starting to move in there now. No trouble at all, and that will be a count of four. And that is uh, mathematically out of reach for the Cotters. So a nice win there from uh, Dodds and Mowat. And uh, two are, as we watch the last stone come into the rings, this is beautiful touch there from Jen Dodds. And they handle the Cotters quite easily here in this C qualifier they will make it through to the playoffs uh, the other game the draw for the win is on its way from Laura Walker and Kirk Myers and if we can hold for about 10 seconds here I'll let you know if she makes it but this looks very promising for the qual there it is in the background Kirk Myers hoping that redstone stops and that's handshakes over on sheet four so great work by our camera crew thank you for that so our playoffs are set it is Mowat and Dodds from Scotland and Walker Myers who qualify our last playoff positions. Quarterfinal action will be coming in your way tomorrow morning, Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Look forward to bringing you all the action with Danielle Inglis and our entire IKS crew. This is Mike Harris signing off from the Epic Gale Players Championship on the CBC Mixed Double Super Series.